There were two murders, one suspect, and a grieving family now again in disbelief. A judge decided to let out Adrian Avila out of jail today on a GPS monitor with a curfew and some other restrictions. He's accused of killing Elias Otero last February during a kidnapping and attempted burglary. Prosecutors say he's also behind the murder of another man back in August of 2020. And yes, you are innocent until proven guilty. But is our judicial system working? And if an 18-year-old accused of killing two people is getting out of jail? We're going to take a hard look at that question tonight and start with Julie Frendek, who spoke with the people who are most deeply affected by this, the mother and father of Elias Otero. Julie, how'd that conversation go? Well, Ryan, today's hearing was definitely a low point for this family. They say they're devastated and lost a lot of hope in our system today. One decision. I could not believe what had just happened. Bringing on a brand new wave of grief for the Otero family. I was absolutely devastated. A judge let their son's suspected killer, Adrian Avila, out of jail on a GPS monitor Tuesday. There was a lot of evidence and to hear that was just heartbreaking. Albuquerque police say Avila helped kidnap and attempt to rob the Otero's younger son. He led his attackers to his brother Elias's house in February of last year, where Avila pulled the trigger, according to APD. I just know that he's dangerous. He's dangerous to the community. He's dangerous to law enforcement officers. He's a danger to us. We're scared right now for ourselves, for our son, that he did uh, kidnap. Alicia Otero has tried to take proactive steps over the past year toward justice for Elias and reforming New Mexico's criminal justice system. I have gathered families together uh, to let them know they're not alone. We have uh, together created a, a group of mothers who have lost their children. We have fought legislation to try and change the laws. But with every step forward has come more steps back. How do I give hope to other families? How do I give hope to other families if I couldn't even get justice for my son? Her son, who's never far away, she keeps his ashes in their family home as another reminder of who she's fighting for every day. It has just been an emotional roller coaster for us. Um, I take this as a big loss for us. We relive this over and over again, and uh, this has just been. Uh, pain to my very core. Alicia's husband, Luis, usually quietly supportive, says he hit his boiling point. This is just another showing of how our system is, is failing, how our judicial system is failing us, and how much work we need. So what happens, what happens next? <sighs> I don't know. Um, I will fight to the very end. The other suspect in Elias's case, Annabella Dukes, turned herself into police in January, about a month after Avila. She chose to waive her pretrial detention hearing and is still in jail. Ryan. So, Julie, what do we know about the second or the other homicide Avila is charged with? What do we know about that? Well, Ryan, that's for a 2020 homicide he was only recently just charged with. But this detention hearing today was actually for both homicide charges, which adds to the Otero's family's disbelief. Julie, thank you.